Welcome to the Loaf of Credit Card. Let's get started. The project that I have for you today is another African map. It's a collection that I'm doing, and this time it's blue and yellow combination. The base is black by Arthur's Law mixed with Float Draw. I did that in advance to save time. The tape that I use for my contour is a striping tape used in automotive. It works really well because you can use it to make turns and sharp turns if you want to. It just works really well. Masking tape around it so the paint doesn't touch the black. Of course, it makes sense, right? Once the tape is down, tack it down a little more, so, but not too much so it doesn't take the paint off when you're done with it, once it dries. I already had mixed the paint. What I have is yellow, turquoise, blue, mixture of those. Even though the turquoise was not part of the plan, I put it in there just to see if it'd be nice, I, you know, a nice combination, right? Once I get done with this, it's time to put the base, not the base, but I use black on the bottom. You can see I started pouring, but I noticed that something was bad. It, it wasn't looking good. I went on with it anyways just to finish up because I already started, but I already made my mind at this point that I didn't like it. I decided at this point that I'll try something different. Okay. Let's do another on the very top, bring it down, see if I can create something cool out of it. You know, that's what's going on in my mind at this point, even though it's kind of like ruined already, but why not, right? Let's try. You can tell there, there's black when you swipe and that black doesn't really go together with all the colors that are there. So that's a big problem. And on top of that, the blue that I just laid down wasn't even enough. Okay, I decided, well, how about we try on the bottom to see if maybe this may work. I tried the blue and the yellow, which was my first choice of color for this campus. And uh, white that you see is the striping color. Built it a little, maybe something can come out of this. It wasn't just going together, you know, it's, I just knew it wasn't going to work. Even though I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying, just wasn't going to work out. No problem. So, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> So at this point, okay, well, I got a choice. I got to make a choice. What am I going to do? I have to take it off. Which is exactly what I did. When I was taking it off, I also knew, okay, I'm going to use white this time. The white didn't use as much as I probably should have used. I know lately, well, since this was sort of kind of like my beginning in this particular art field, I don't use a lot of paint down like I should, uh, but eventually I'll sort of kind of graduate <laughs> to using the correct amount of paint as my base uh, or as I should also. And as you can tell in the cup, I'm only putting blue and yellow. Forget about the turquoise because that's where I started messing up, right? And tilt the canvas, start pouring. And as soon as the paint started coming out the cup, I already knew that this was going to be a winner. It's looking beautiful. It's looking great. I love the colors. Blue, white yellow next to each other with this little separation i also know that i don't have a lot of separation between colors since i did not layer it um thick 
but I will do that next time I do a painting with this particular pour. I know that for sure because with more practice that you get in, you kind of sort of know what to do next time. So basically just don't make the same mistakes twice or if you do, try until it gets a little better. I use that torch to get the bubbles out and uh, once it dried a little bit I use blue to sort of kind of take away that yellow since it was too much yellow that'll be on the east side uh, west side of the map and a little bit of yellow on the very top corner of the map and torched it again just to get all the bubbles out even though like the finished product I still had just a few, but it's okay, you know, I'll do better next. It's time to cover the painting with resin, which is the material that I choose to cover it. Art resin is brand. You can get it on Amazon. Pretty hefty price, but it does a really good job exposing what you have, which it brings up all the colors that are in the paint. You mix it 50-50, cover all the sides, and also use a torch to get all the bubbles out and once it settles for about 45 to an hour take the tape off it'll give it a really really nice contour but you gotta babysit it for another hour because it drips and every time it drips you gotta wipe down a canvas on the bottom because if you don't wipe it it's gonna get hardened and it'll leave a residue on the back side of the canvas and it doesn't look good so you have to babysit it for about almost an hour or an hour keep wiping it down and making sure that you don't have dips if you have oil on the painting you have to clean it and put some more resin on top of it this particular painting here has imperfections in the middle you can, you can see it if you get really really close where the there was some type of oil and the rest it didn't cover that part uh, I think I may have a picture where it shows that you must use the torch to get all the bubbles out you must use it otherwise it's gonna look really bad and you're not gonna like it once it dries by the way you can't get the bubbles out so it's a must to use a torch I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video I'll be coming up with another one here in a couple of days or three. I already have it done. Thank you. Bye.